Hello, everyone. This is Marshall Gittler, head of investment research here at FX Primus, bringing my North American opening market comment for July 5th. Now, I mentioned in the morning that risk aversion is increasing once again. Partly that's due to the political instability in Britain, which only adds to the chaos after the Brexit vote. But there's another problem brewing in Europe as well, Italian banks. Monte Pasci, the world's oldest bank, uh, Monday revealed that the ECB ordered it to get rid of another 10 billion euros in bad loans. The news sparked fresh worries about the health of the Italian banking sector as a whole. It's estimated that about 18% of the loans at Italian banks are bad. The borrowers can't pay the money back. Unfortunately, the banks aren't making enough money to make up the difference. And the ECB's move to negative rates only makes matters worse for them. Nor are any private investors willing to recapitalize the banks by buying more bank stocks or bonds. So nobody sees any way for the banks to fill the growing hole in their balance sheet without government help. Now, Prime Minister Renzi wants to use government funds to help uh, shore up the banks, but that goes against the EU rules. Uh, there's going to be a referendum on Renzi's plan to reform the Italian constitution sometime, uh, probably by October. That's the next big risk for Europe. And if he loses, he'll probably quit. And then nobody knows what will happen uh, with the country's banks. Uh, the problems in the Italian banking sector just call attention to the fact that the EU really hasn't finished all the work that's necessary to make the euro a solid currency. So I can't understand why the euro is up today. The June uh, Eurozone PMIs were revised up slightly, but the rally started well before they were announced. As for the remaining data today, uh, the main thing is the U.S. factory orders. They're expected to fall in May after April's month-on-month -month bounce. Now, durable goods orders for May, uh, which were announced in late June, were down 2.2% on the month. So uh, the fall in factory orders shouldn't come as any surprise as the two series move fairly closely together. The data should be neutral for the dollar, I expect. This is Marshall Gittler, Head of Investment Research at FX Primus. Get more market insights on our education pages and turn your trading ideas into action with FX Primus, the safest place to trade.